Hi guys, my name is Trevor Rosley, teaching that there is another way through life, and it can be explained in three letters, two words, and it's called the Be Me Being. Today I'm going to be speaking about the story of the Dark Knight of the Soul. Why is it called the Dark Knight of the Soul? I can say for me, it was the Dark Knight of the Soul for me, which meant it was the total opposite to who I thought I was. And in the dark night of the soul, it seems like everything's gone. There must be another reason, you say. There must be a meaning to why I feel so bad. So lost, so confused, tearful, crying, upset, guilty, angry. All of these famous words of hatred, putting yourself down. And it comes with an incredible feeling. And it's the feeling that's very difficult to understand when you're in that place. Luckily, in some respects, I got through that. Was it luck? No, it was pure hard work. And the messages that I got from that, trying to understand the meaning behind the dark night of the soul, because if I couldn't find the meaning to it, then there was no meaning to it. But I thought to myself, there's going to be one. And it worked like this. The dark night of the soul, when you get to that place when everything just shuts down, you're just left with pain. Pain has consumed you. Your mind is against you. So there is a big battle that goes on within you. That's the dark night of the soul because you just don't know who you are. You don't know what life is all about. And so therefore, your internal world swells out of control. It's heading for a collision. How deep is deep? I thought there was a point of how deep was deep. But then realise when you're connecting in with the soul, that's deep. That's a long journey. The story I discovered was completely different to the story I'd been shown or told about what life meant. The dark night of the soul really does try to get you to see things for real and to understand what is important? Because in the dark night of the soul, it seems like you have nothing left. But what are you left with? And that's the be me. It's you. Just you and you. And it's you that's having the battle. You've lost yourself. You've lost your mind. Your mind's going mad. It's crazy. It tells you certain things. It's affecting you emotionally. It's a shit ride. And it's painful. But why? Is your question. Why? Understanding the story, your story, is very important. It's in the story. Here's the thing. Not many people, I actually don't know anyone, so maybe you do, that kind of know their story. They know it. They know everything about it. They become wise to it. They become intuitive to it. They've become healed by it. 
They know their story. But when you look at yourself, we're always looking for a, another story. And we can't pay attention to the story that we're actually in because we're focused on a different story. A different picture has been painted within your mind that if I was living here or this was happening, then everything would be okay. But that's just a vision. That's just painted pictures. What's real is really what's going on. So the dark night of the soul is an experience. There's a story and a reason behind it. Connecting to the soul is going to try and give you the answers to that story. And it's painful. Because you could be at the point where, yes, there's nothing left in your material world. Yes, there's nothing left in your world of thoughts. There's nothing left within your emotions. Basically, you don't know how to feel anymore. And if you do feel, it's self-destructive. You're destroying yourself. So the human part of you, is that enough? Simply. Your soul says, I can't do this anymore. It's too painful. Surely there's got to be more to life than this. There must be. I said it for many, many years. Surely there must be more to life. But that more to life was always about painting pretty pictures. Maybe I'll grow up and I'll become this or I'll live there or have this big house. Marriage will be happy, children will be f fine, they will be fed. You know, all of these pictures that we want to happen in our lives. And when they don't come up to standard, it feels like a failure. I got the opposite. It didn't turn out how I thought it was going to turn out. More disappointments. And the body collects all of these emotions. And so the dark night of the soul is that moment when we need to have a clear out. We need to get rid of some of this stuff that I've been holding on to for far too long. So the beginning of your life is just like that caterpillar. It just happens. You just do what you do. You try this, you try that, you experience this, you experience that. You know, it's, it's experimental. You don't know how you're going to feel. You don't know what's on offer. You're not sure who to trust. It's a very unconscious journey. And then depression and the dark night of the soul says, I've had enough of all of that. I can't play that game anymore. And so therefore, you go into your inner world. That's the cocoon stage. And you try to work out something. Because something doesn't feel right. You try to work out, well, well I thought I'd done everything right. Well, why doesn't it seem like life has turned out all right? Why is it okay one minute? Why is it? Not all right, one minute. Where is the consistency? There is one consistency you have to be very aware of. We're very good at putting ourselves down. Quite consistent at that. You're very good at being unhappy about who you are. You're quite consistent in that. Your consistency about how you think how you feel, how you act in your life, you're quite good at that. But there's still an inconsistency even in that consistency. See what I'm saying? We all believe that to have a nice life, it should run quite smoothly. 
a really lovely life. It just, yeah, it was all right. It just worked out. It was just everything I planned, I got. Yeah, children are great. Yeah, I feel great in life. I love life. I think it's wonderful. I don't know many people. Well, actually, I don't know any, so let's stop the lie there, shall we? I don't actually know anyone that even got that. So life does come with all of this. One minute is up, this minute is down. In the dark night of the soul, there is no up. It's just down. That's when you hear me talk about beamism and beamy. Because what I realised was that this journey that I was on was about me being me. So was there gold behind it? Was this journey happening for a real good reason? I'm glad to say, yeah, there is a real good reason. That's why I teach what I teach. I teach you what I become. So one minute being normal, life was good, it seemed. And next minute, just didn't know who I was. I just, God, everything just hurt. Life just fell apart. There was no tomorrow. It was just doom. It was just gloom. It was a, a total darkness that just engulfed me, that just said, why don't you commit suicide? It might be easier. And you think, what the fuck? Where the fuck did that come from? And so there was this place of struggle of trying to, why am I like that? So beamism and the beamy structure that I bring was the, what well, saved my life. Because the journey was actually trying to teach me that there was or is another me. I just needed to find it. So if you've got that deep yearning feeling in the soul, and you've tried everything on the outside to try and fulfill that something. But you still haven't grasped that. Then that's where the soul is. That's where you've got to go to that place because there's a message in that soul. And that for me is where all the education came from. The self-awareness, the self-love to understand the mind, become more enlightened in the journey. I went into the pain of it, and I followed the soul. And that was a dark journey, because you have no idea on where that's going. So you're being led, so you're almost trying to save your soul. But your soul seems like it's pulling you in, but it's also saving you as well. And it's a a strange one to get your head round. Who, who's saving who? You're following a feeling. You don't know where it's going. You follow the feeling on the outside of your world, in your life. And everything you followed you felt right at the time, so you did it. It felt right to get married at that particular time. It felt right to break up with that relationship at that particular time. It felt right to leave that job. And we work on that feeling. But then you get to that point where you have that feeling that you had that moment where it felt right, but what you got out of it is definitely what you didn't expect. See? So the expectations painted pictures of what we believe life is. In the dark night, it's definitely going to teach you what it's not because it's about truth and illusion. What do you believe in? And for me, it was like a dark night of the soul where it just stopped. Like a, I'm going to stop life. And in one sense, life did stop. And you go into that inner world and there's, there's no time there. You can't function on time. There isn't one. 
be completely gone. So you don't know sometimes when you're in that place of trying to get out of it, you then all of a sudden have this shock that says, my God, this is, this is five years. Nothing's happening, nothing's changing. So the be me was that moment when only I could save I, because only I supposedly know me. I've got to know me. I've got to fathom out why. I've got to work out this story. So this is where the story is important. What I teach is a story. It's just something I went through. Whether you believe it or you don't, or it's happening to you or it's not. My story is unique to me. It's what happened to me. It's what I got from it. It's how I felt about it. And it's the gift of the greatness of why I went through that, which was the most amazing part of the story. So I can teach you about life, teach you about going in that journey and what's it like to be the butterfly. And to be the butterfly, really, the best thing I can say to you, it's the opposite to this, which is human. That's why I teach be me, because be me, the be me being, is opposite to the human. When you're being the human, in your human ways, you can't understand your problem. So teaching oneself to come out and be the be me being, I've got something to work with. I've got two identities here. But the be me really is the one I want to be. But the human side one is really letting me down. It's too painful. It's too painful even to get... To, to be in me. You know that moment when you're this painful human being, but then there's a part of you that says, wow, I get it. And then there's the painful part of you that's the human being that you don't get it. And there's that moment you go, oh my God, now I get it. That's bipolar, right? For me, that's bipolar. Again, on the soul level, your body, your mind, your energy is saying, one minute I don't get it, now I get it. Now I don't get it, now I get it. So it's a feeling. You get a feeling that says, oh, now I don't get it. You get a feeling that you do now get it. So you're working on feeling. Take away the word of feeling. Now we're talking on frequency, vibration. I feel the vibration, I don't get it. I feel the vibration, I do get it. So when you work it out, just on energy levels, you start to work out your journey in energetic levels because you can't understand the real reason behind your dark night of the soul because it's new and you've got to learn about the journey and you look back at your journey and you can understand how it led you to this point. You work it out. That's what I teach you to go back, find out how did that all come together. Know the story. Because the story is important and it is very special. Because it is your story. I don't want to leave life here looking at my life and thinking it's pointless. Waste of time. I didn't get it. No meaning, no purpose. I just didn't get it. I don't know about you. I don't want that. Just that alone. I just don't want to have that you work or you do or you get or you have all this moments in life and you don't get it. You don't understand it. Totally oblivious. Totally unconscious to the fact that, wow, I just had a life on a rock in the cosmic universal oneness, greatness, call it whatever you like. It's just, what, what a trip. What a trip. Even the being me, you get to that point when your eyes start to awaken from the dark night of the soul and you get glimpses of greatness 
Them glimpses is how we should have been. That's our true nature. All of these feelings that you get of joy and love and all of a sudden you, you, you fall in love with the planet, that's how we should be. It's reminding you to be like that. That was our naturalness. So the dark night of the soul and that place, it's actually trying to get you to naturalness and the naturalness is in the being me. Being me just wanted that. I didn't want no fangled, dangled, big fat word to explain or something. I just wanted to feel good. I just want to understand why did I go through that? What did I get from it? What was the benefit of that? There must be a reason. I found the reason. I found beamism. I found different ways to be able to communicate with myself, to understand my story, my journey, my mind my emotions, the players that play the part in my journey. And you work that story out because the soul has got a story. You are a story. And there is greatness in there because it's special to you. Beamism is that. Your story is special. It's only the human being says it's not. Nobody's really into somebody's life and thinking it's really honourably special. We've lost that. So in your darkness, you're awakening, but the darkness has to fall away to reveal the real you. The dark night is about stripping away the human that leaves you back to the bare bones. There's nothing there. And this is the place where you rebuild. You grow from there. There is another door. There is another you. There is another way home. There's another way through intelligence. That's be me. So don't give up on that. Just listen to what I say. It's just my story. If it works for you, and it makes sense to you, then you are on the same story. My stuff, my teachings, my work, the code that everything that I put together to work it out saved my life. That's the be me. So there is a be me in you that can also save your life. Because I'm no one special. I'm no one different. But I found meaning and more understanding of the dark night of the soul was the greatest teacher because it taught me about life and then it taught me about my true self and in that process you rebuild your true self slowly as the butterfly gathers its wings it has to do things differently it's all different from the caterpillar it's total transformation. And that's what you're looking for. Not just change. Total transformation. It's the only thing that will work. That's why the human is no good. But the beamy part of you is pure goodness. And it's about connecting to that. My name is Trevor Owlsley. If you do want to speak to me, I'll leave the details. Come through and have a one-to-one -one seminar with me. Send me your email and I'll send you the details and the pricings to make that happen. And I'll teach you what I know. And I'll teach you to grow into the being me self that you really should be. My name is Trevor Owlsley. I'll see you on the other side.